Ugh, it's always something easy. Welcome to day 98, 99 of trying to fix the Black Evo 8. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Today we're gonna make some progress. I don't know if we're gonna get it done. I'm not gonna make any promises. We do have some other stuff going on today as well. I'll talk about that later if it actually happens in today's video. Let's take a look at what we kind of figured out yesterday. Wire right here on this connector, white wire, wire number four is supposed to be connected to the ECU, which I believe it was pin 41 and it's not, there's no continuity. So we need to figure out where in this wire, anywhere from here, runs all along here, blah, 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 goes under the dash, goes all the way to the ECU. We need to figure out where it's broken or where it's burnt or what is wrong with it. I swear if I have to take the whole harness out of the car, I will probably just like burn it to the ground. I will not be happy if I have to take the whole harness out of the car. We did it boys, we fixed the Evo. 14.2 volts. Now you may be wondering, Devin, what was the problem? It wasn't the alternator, it wasn't wire for going to pin 41 on the ECU. It was this wire, this little chunk of wire right here. Ugh, it's always something easy. Ooh, good kick. That wire, let me backtrack a little bit. At the fusible link, we were getting 12 and a half volts. 11 and a half, 12 and a half, somewhere in that range, depending on how long we ran the car. At the alternator, yesterday when we checked it, we were getting, I think it said like two volts or something, but it was just way overpowering our voltmeter for the setting that it was on. So we were actually getting 21 volts out of the alternator. And I was thinking, okay, 21 volts out of the alternator, 12 volts at the other end of the wire that comes out of the alternator. Something clearly is going on in there. So I pulled the whole harness off, check continuity. Continuity was good. The wire appeared to be connected. Put it all back together and there was no continuity. I wiggled it around and then it would connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. Tore the whole harness apart and that wire, where did I kick it to? The wire running from the alternator up to the fusible link had this little extended piece in it or like fixed piece in it and it was like kind of soldered together very very ghetto so basically when the when the harness was off disconnected from the alternator with no tension on it whatsoever it would be fine it would be connected but as soon as you connect as soon as you put the car back together this thing would just like separate so i pulled on it a little bit and it completely just fell apart got it connected properly 100 percent we're good to go original problem from the get-go i guess i haven't checked if to see if that fusible link is getting warm again yet or if we're having any problems there. But I'm pretty sure with all the little issues with soldering that we fixed, like look how ghetto this thing is. Like what is this? It looks like a piece of, piece of dunk. I'm pretty sure with all that ghetto wiring that we just fixed, we should be good to go. I'm gonna go run the car for a while, obviously open up the shop, run the car for 15, 20 minutes, make sure we don't have any issues whatsoever. And then I'll probably put the old alternator back on, return the new one that we just bought because we don't need it. And the Evo 8 is, back on the road. I think we're good to go. I ran it for 15 minutes. It got a little bit warm, but I feel like it's normal to get just a little bit warm. Um, before it was just like pretty much burning down the car. So quick time lapse. Let's throw this thing completely back together, get it back on the ground, go drive it, make sure we're good to go. Every, I feel like every problem that we just had with this car over the, like the last week, they were all simple fixes. It just took me a while to get it figured out. But I'm happy. I'm happy we had these problems because not only did it make me like better with electrical, which is definitely one of my weak points when it comes to working on cars. So I'm better at that. But now I'm also much more confident knowing that all those harnesses that were soldered together, it's all back to stock. It's all back to factory. There's no extended harnesses anywhere now. It's just stock and it's going to be reliable and we won't have any connection issues. So let's get it back together, get it back on the ground. What up, fool? Not much. You wanna go drive Ava Jr.? Um, I just wanna get the chocolate off of your lip first. Where? Ah, uh, I was gonna eat it. Oh, wait. 
You want me to show you what was wrong with the car? Or did that wire go? What the frick is this? It's a wire. It's an intense looking wire. Pretty bummy looking? Yeah. Hmm. Gonna go for a quick little rip around the road. Oh, fire right there. Holy shit. What happened? I wanna go over there. Can we get in Gary really quick? There's the fire right by the shop. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going hunting. This guy's ripping over there too. He's like, what the fuck is going on? This big old bitch is probably gonna get in their way, but let's try not to do that. Holy uh, crap, that's a big old puff of smoke. That's just insane. The UPS guy's even gonna go check her out. It's someone's house. It is? All right, let's make sure we don't get in the way. I hear more fire trucks. It'd be a bad situation if we got ran over by a fire truck. That house is lit. Literally lit. Oh, that's sad. Damn. Holy crap. That's sad. Let me go this. Oh, it's dead. Or, that's why we took the truck. Maybe we can go wheeling. The house is shit. Just a pile of poop now. Jared probably went over there and started it on fire. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of exciting. As I say that, something falls apart. Everything I touch, I feel like I'm breaking right now. Everything. What happened, baby? It's the fucking, the surfing pin belt, belt on your belt. It was not on something all the way. Well, we're not driving this now. Everything I touch, I feel like everything I'm touching right now, my mind is just like all toward the launch that I, I can't even fix my own damn car. One thing at a time, please. Being in a hurry, trying to get this thing done before Bobby got here, so you know, like, tell her, "Hey, my car is fixed finally." I didn't put the belt on all the way. You can already see it shredded right there. That's part of the belt. At least it's an easy fix, but I just feel, I feel stupid. Honey, you're not stupid. Well, I'm gonna go get a new belt, and then then it'll be fixed. Big old rip. At the end of the day, she's a squeaky little belt anyway, so. Just good. 20 buckaroonies later, we got a new one. I think we're back in action. I actually put the belt on right this time. So we should be Gucci. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. The only thing I was wondering is if we could please roll the window. We're all fixed up with the Evo 8. We shoot shocks pretty good. Honey, I'd recommend following this before you talk. I'd recommend getting the chocolate off your teeth before you talk. <laughs> oh. What's this junker doing here? Question. Come here, stance boy. <laughs> oh, wow. So that tab. Uh, you broke it. David is here in the GTR, and Jared is going to go do a photo shoot of it. Jared's the official photographer of right. Spokane now. George decided to leave us. <laughs> right? You're jumping in the back of the truck, huh? Yep, the bed. Have fun. I've been having bad luck. You're probably going to see me tumbling down the road. <laughs> <laughs> probably. If there's a cop, Coming the other way, just honk. And I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> Sounds good. At the same time, we're also gonna go shoot some more promotion stuff what? for the upcoming launch. Just got a, a ton of hats in today, so that was dope. Bobby's rocking one of them right now. Ooh, damn, that looks good on you. Thanks, Haas. I can't really rock the flat or the curved bill. Yeah, you can. You know I love you in a curved bill. This one right here is actually my favorite. All black with a black 3D embroidered logo. Damn. Ooshie clean. Oh, it's cold. 
it was worth it though. Gary hasn't got some screen time in a while, so we're gonna go shoot with Gary now. <laughs> wow. Your backup camera is way nicer than my backup camera. I know. <laughs> Give me the keys, mother. <laughs> I'm stealing. Oh, she's stealing. Oh. I hope the keys are in here. Ooh. Ah, someday, someday. If you act rich, it's all that matters, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you got some crusty shoes on. Did you have a good photo shoot? Yeah. Pretty fun? Yeah. 